Hey guys, it's your favorite public librarian, Miss Katie Jane, and I'm here to tell you about something amazing that is coming to Hoover Public Library on April 18th. It's our author conference called Read, Write, Draw. Yep, see, it's me. I told you it was me. Also, as you notice, I'm here with Mr. Jeremy. But that's a good thing because he loves all the authors we're going to have at this event too. We're going to tell you about all of them. The first one we're going to talk about is Jeff Mack. Jeff Mack is one of our very favorite picture book authors. He writes and he also illustrates them. We use them in story time all the time. Like this one, Duck in the Fridge. This one is hilarious. Yes, it's about ducks in the fridge and also in the toilet in case you were wondering. Oh, but don't forget about um, Clueless McGee. He wrote Clueless McGee too. It's for a little bit older group. Um, yes, he did write Clueless McGee, which is kind of like a cross between Diary of a Wimpy Kid and Timmy Failure, but we're not talking about the chapter books, we're talking okay. about his picture books, Sorry. like this brand new one, like literally came out this week, which is called Luck! Luck! That's pretty good, but don't uh -huh. forget about Hippo and Rabbit. Hippo and Rabbit's good, too. Yes, Hippo and Rabbit is very good. That's his beginner reader series that are kind of like the Elephant and Piggy books by Mo Willems. They are fantastic books, but we're still talking about his picture books, because look at this one. Good news, bad news. The good news is Jeff Mack will be here and he'll be talking all about being an author and an illustrator and he's going to teach you guys to draw too. The bad news is Mr. Jeremy's going to be there too. No, I'm just kidding. That's good news too. Make sure you come and see Jeff Mack at Read, Write, Draw. All right, we are also having an, another amazing picture book author and illustrator who is actually from right here in Birmingham, Alabama. In fact, she lives in Homewood. I first saw her at Bluff Park Elementary School. Shout out to BP. Um, but she's just starting out, but she already has two picture books that she wrote and illustrated. One is called Maple, and then this is the sequel, Maple and Willow Together. And don't, what's that don't, other don't one? forget the other one. The other one. What? It's called Orc, He Cape Boy. Hmm. I don't believe I'll be able to forget that now anytime soon. He that, cave boy. That's quite memorable. He cave boy. He cave boy. Make sure you see her and her trees and her cave boy when you stop by Read, Write, Draw. All right, so our next author, I really love her. Her name is Amber McGree Turner. Um, she has two books, Sway and Circa Now. Um, but I really don't know how like to talk about it because, I mean, all her books are magical realism. Yeah, that's hard. But that's kind of... Like a different, so what should we talk about? I don't know. We, we could just tell them that there is leftover soap of famous people. Yeah, that's cool. But, you know, there's also the, the photoshopping. I mean, and the, the photoshopping thing. In yeah, the there's the photoshopping. And then there's one single shoe. One single shoe! Yes. Okay, you see, this is confusing. You, you probably should just calm and listen to her, and then you'll find out even more. Not just about magical realism, but about Amber McCree Turner at Read, Write, Draw. I'm so excited to talk about this one. Our next author is also from right here in Birmingham, Lou Anders. And I ran into him at a coffee shop. I know, it's so exciting. You could see him at Read, Write, Draw and find out about his first book that... I'm doing this one because it's great. It's awesome. It is called Frostborn. It's the first in the Thrones and Bones series, and it's mm -hmm. great. It's basically like the Lion King with dragons. Ah, we need to... King? Yeah, 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 yeah. His dad's mean. Um, no, his dad dies. His uncle's mean, and then he has to run away. It's just like the Lion King. N but, but like, what about the Frost Giants? Okay, the Lion King with dragons and Frost Giants. But, but what about the trolls? And trolls. What about the Viking zombies? Okay, it has Viking zombies. Okay, it's basically nothing like the Lion King. Exactly. But it's really cool because it has Viking zombies and frost giants and trolls. It's great. And dragons. And dragons. Uh, Come and see Lou Anders at Read, Write, Draw. All right. So the last author we're going to talk about is really not actually for kids. She writes really cool books for teens. So when you're a little older, you'll be into it. But you may want to tell if you have a big brother, a big sister, Grandma. mom or dad. Grandmas like them too. Babysitter. Babysitters, dad. next door neighbors. Anyway, the author's name is Sharon... Cameron. And her books are really cool because they have autumn autumn They got robots! <laughs> they don't actually do that. Oh, They're that more cool. like historical robots. I know that sounds weird, but when you read it, you will realize it's awesome. You so anyway, one? Sharon Cameron. At robots. Read, Write, Draw. She's coming to Read, Write, Draw. So come and see us, guys. Wait, what? Why are you? Do not.
not do that with your books at home or with our books here at the library. But we definitely want you guys to come read, write, draw. Can you remember that? I think we've mentioned it like 20 times. Read, write, draw. Read, write, draw. Read, write, draw. It's Saturday, April 18th. Come at 10 o'clock. It's great. Yes, and if you can't stay the whole time, 10 to 4, come to the morning sessions or come to the afternoon sessions. The full schedule is available on our website, www.hooverlibrary.org.